last time we figured out that Julie's dead. I'm sorry. Uh, we did, but it was like one of the most disturbing things I've ever seen in my life because it was like some kind of like virus or bacteria, flu, I don't even know. It was really creepy and it's gonna stick with me. On a more positive note, Miller and Holden and that whole group kind of found each other. So I do believe that they can. So here's episode nine. Cause it makes me feel better. Later is really flaky. Uh, <gasps> scopes on this bucket suck. If I had your kind of money, I'd be sitting in a penthouse at the Shangri-La. my father's Island. money. I see. And that's his weapon on that ship. The Belters need to know what it is so it can't be used against us. Us? Her dad's weapon. I saw you race once. Beautiful ship. The, uh... Race her back. What ship? What the pilot? Prepare to intercept. I'm sad. This is sad. Reach subdue crew, grab the cargo then. March. She's so pretty. It's their scientists, not soldiers. They work for my father, they'll fight. Damn, so she's got she's fighting against her dad. Her dad is not a good person. See Anubis. That's a gunship. Breaching pot amidships. Seal all compartments, all hands. We are being boarded. That was fast. Oh, no, 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 no. No. Are you kidding me? Was that the guy she was talking to? No. Oh, blood, the blood, the hand. Hands off that one. She's a complication. Put her in here till they figure out what to do with her. Ma'am, the distress beacon has been planted on the scopuli. Canterbury should be picking it up soon. Let's hope they take the bait. The sooner we get Earth and Mars at each other's throat, the sooner we get their eyes off the arrows. Wow. Well, I'm hot. Check climate control and make it cooler. Yes, ma'am. Oh, wait, is that the, like, the radiation for the, for the blue stuff? I can't believe they're like, she's a complication. Like, imagine dehumanizing a person in that way. Okay, this was from the beginning, right? We're just getting more info. This is Lionel Polanski. I repeat, Lionel Polanski. Makeup has gone bad. The crew is dead. Oh. I'm being held captive. I'm alone. Please help me. Somebody come and get me. Somebody help. Somebody help, please. Julie. Oh my God. Kind of beautiful though that would suck so bad to be stuck there she got out bodies no i mean i knew what was gonna happen it's just sad No! Absolutely not. Not me. Certainly not I. This is Lionel Polanski. Mission has failed. The scopuli has been lost. There's something in the reactor. It looks like it consumed everyone else. If it's a bioweapon, I've never seen anything like it. Bioweapon. I'll set up an OPA locator beacon and park it where no one else can find it. Hmm. Aero station is within range of the Anubis shuttle. I'll be there, waiting for you. I'm so sad. Is this a longer intro? Yes! 
is. I love the way they put their names in the credits. That's gorgeous. Wow. I loved that. It's so, this show is so unique. There's nothing like it. It's flashing him back. I'm confused about that. Maybe to kind of like put Julie's story in context. Remember when I was like, oh, that's a dead person saying hi to him. She, I wonder what the symptoms are of this thing. Can't be good. Probably like a big freaking fever. I had to get off the streets. I left a trail of breadcrumbs, a way for you to find me. And I waited. Dawes? You didn't even answer. Why didn't you come? You know there are no animals. You have every right to be angry. You should be angry. I don't understand. Why did he not get the message? Or was he really ignoring her? She doesn't like light. <laughs> this is like some body horror. Oh my god, fuck this. This is fucking no. Oh, I really don't like this. I really don't like this. This is so disturbing. Why is it so unsettling? Am I the only one? It's like really disturbing. Please, mommy. The bird. Nobody touch anything. Don't touch anything. Don't touch her. She could be contagious. If he wants to stay, let him. Oh, Amos. There's nothing you can do for her. Oh, he meant that more like, we'll leave him behind. <laughs> I thought it was more just like, give him some time. Oh, you can see the tears in his eyes. Will you tell me what the hell is going on here? She's gone. With a girl. Room 22. Don't touch anything in there. This is really hard to watch. This is like the darkest it's been so far. Just lay low. Don't leave the station till we talk. He's not going to be doing well. Don't push him too hard right now. He's having a tough time dealing with what we saw. Oh. God meant something to him. It was mm -hmm. a shock finding her like that. Yes. Precious Naomi. Mm. The water. Okay, I'd say we're all in a bit of trouble here. So why don't we just figure what out... What are you what doing following Julie? Oh. All that stuff on her, we saw it before. On the Anubis. The oh, Anubis. yeah. Oh, what happened to her? We both followed Julie here. We both have part of the story. I want the truth as bad as you do. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know they're not bad people, Miller. Ooh, that's beautiful. Girl! This should be illegal. <laughs> Someone on my YouTube video told me that now girls can like sci-fi because of all the jewels and pretty outfits. And they just dressed her up so that girls could like sci-fi. Everyone was like responding like, what are you talking about? <laughs> what? I found out he was paying for those trips himself. He was ashamed mm. of sitting around the house. So I played along. I let him keep his pride. It was the only thing he had left. He had you? Frank always said, it is damn near impossible 
to stay properly mad at that brat. I'm not Frank. Oh, I'm mad at you. I need to say goodbye. I, this is a just really good queer representation. I love that it was so subtle and easy. I feel like a lot of shows and media like make a big deal out of it, but like, I don't know. They were they were partners. Like that's his that's his man. And I think they handle diversity, queer representation, like so much right. Women, female characters. What did she take? Exactly, Unifex, yeah. Should I be wearing a mask? It's not airborne. Oh. But if it's wet, don't touch it. It's not airborne. So it's like blood? She took pencils. She's got more than enough in her. Give us a moment. I'm truly sorry to be the one to have to tell you this, but your daughter is dead. <laughs> FaceTime, <laughs> say hi, Julie. The only thing that I can say to temper this terrible news is that I was able to obtain a viable sample of the protomolecule. We can only learn by letting it learn. What? We got lucky. Lucky? Man. What was Julie doing in the end of this? She was OPA. She found some new bioweapon they were putting together on Phoebe. So did we. She wanted to steal it. They couldn't use it on belters. And they used it on her. She was an earther. Died for the belt. What the hell was that? Attention. Aero Station has experienced a radiation. Oh no 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 no. Oh no 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 no. Is that proceed as planned? Ship just blew up in the docks. No. The Rosie. No, it wasn't in that bay. That's good news. Bad news is ships are all locked down tight. We're stuck here. Shit. Oh my god, that's terrifying. Okay, pencils. <laughs> Special pencils. Oh, they blew up Julie's ship. Maybe. The drives that match these serial numbers? What ships were they installed in? Look at the drives. Where are they right now? On the ship that blew up? She does what has to be done. When I see them cops, they're gangsters with badges. One team rounds them up, the other shakes them out. This was planned. They have assignments. How could they know a ship was gonna blow up on the docks? They so blew it, was it up planned. themselves. This is really intense. Hey, where the hell are you going? Let him go! Who is onto something? It's all connected. The camp, the girl. It's not your problem. Aww. It's not your fault. One of it is. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now I'm making it my problem. Oh. Meet me back at the Rossi. I'll be a few hours tops. We're Our white night. Together. If I'm not back in three hours, leave. But she loves you. Of which guy? Of the one who went to get all those injections from Julie and told her dad? Iodine supplement. Protect the radiation. Mandatory. Stop jabbing people! Do you really have to do it that forcefully? Ugh. No, not wanna be around me right now, okay? Oh. So <laughs> I'm getting used to ugly. Aww. Who is he? Scientist. The guys who did what they did to Julie. You need to go back to your friends. God damn it. If he killed Julie, he killed my ship too. I need you alive! Miller, please take a deep breath. <laughs> 
Oh god. I knew he was gonna do that. I love them both so much, the main characters. <laughs> it sucks that Miller can't have a second to breathe because it's, it's so Fred devastating Johnson. to him, but Fred Johnson. Many of you know me, one way or another. So I wonder whose side he's on. Redemption arc? I come before you today, not as a member of the Outer Planet. <laughs> yes, <Alliance>. voices. <laughs> At this moment, the UNN Nathan Hale is headed for Tycho Station to arrest me. Oh. This data cube was recovered from the wreckage of the Doninger mm. and the armor of a Martian Marine. It's a detailed analysis of the ships that destroyed the <gasps> Doninger. Oh shit. So that's the scientist and Julie's dad? That guy's so mad, it's not simple. None of us can change the things we've done, but we can all change what we do next. Redemption arc! I've taken many lives. I've been the oppressor, and I know his mind. I now hear the drumbeats of war. It's the sound of lies and the love of power. And I cannot stand idly by. Elters give, Earth and Mars take. Our language has changed. The things we care about have changed. Even our bodies have changed. And now, someone somewhere for some ungodly reason wants the whole sad lot of us to fight and die oh this is not the belt's fight the ships that destroyed the donager were built at the bush naval shipyards they were built by earth oh shit hell yeah fred butcher blaviken also that like drum beats of war reminds me of the footsteps that Julie was hearing above her when she was escaping. I think she knew she was part of this war. And she fought until her last breath. You didn't count the one. One. <laughs> Miller. CPM offered a bunch of Grigas jobs here a few months back. Why are you herding everybody into those shelters? Because that's what they asked me to do today. If these assholes want people in those shelters, we should let them out. Hey, you're welcome to try. You said you were a cop. Oh. Do a cop like him? Ah! Jesus, Miller. Not me. Certainly not I. <laughs> Get this poor officer some help. I am very uncomfortable with the energy that we've created in the studio today. We're on the move. <gasps> what happened? Combs just went dark. This ain't an accident. It's a plan. We're just gonna stand here. We can't just charge in and start shooting. Pretty sure we can. <laughs> Keep your hands off these people. What the hell do you think you're doing? Hey, just following orders. It's Miller's pal. Yeah, to get the orders and end like this. You stand down. I got rank here. Not today you don't. Sir, sir, we're trying to shoot him. Shoot him. Yes, Amos was ready. I love how calm he is. Oh, not that mf'er. I forgot he was here. Who are you gonna side with? I love how calm Amos is when everyone starts shooting. It's actually a very valuable trait. <laughs> Good under pressure. Open the door. They say once it's shut, it stays shut. Oh! Get out. Get out! We just got hit with a mega dose of hard radiation. How bad? We're dead. Attention. Aerostation has experienced radiation. Ah! Hello? Okay, I'm here. Jesus. I do need to rewatch that because my I literally touched my Go XLR and it all went silent. I saw the bodies like they were getting microwaved by radiation. Are they going to where is back? I don't even know where back is. 
That's so weird that I can't just like go backwards. Later in the void. It looked like they were like, is that going to do the virus? Here we go. All right, all right, all right, all right. No, it is. It's the blue stuff. They did too. Oh, wait. Oh, what? Oh. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine these two in one episode for YouTube because... There's, it's just seems all connected, especially if the DVD had them both together. That's what I'm going to do because I don't even know what the fuck to say. No offense. Are you kidding me? They can't die. If Holden dies, I die. You die. That's not a threat, but I will put on a nuke. Okay. But it's also like, do they not feel that they were hit with that radiation? I guess. I don't know, like with cancer therapies, with radiation, does it feel like anything? And I saw the blue stuff happening on them. Hopefully this next episode is not so depressing. Uh, that was just really sad. And to know that Julie's dad has a huge part in it. But it's funny because I literally said like, Oh, Julie's dad, he's so, he, she knows he's an evil person. And then he's crying over his daughter's death. And someone in the YouTube comments before told me that um, they were like, Every character is a shade of gray. There's like no one terrible person. There's no one perfect person. And like he still did cry for his daughter, but he's certainly doing an evil thing, it seems. I'm still a bit confused about like why they're doing this and what the plan is and how they got lucky why they got lucky i swear if holden dies if miller dies he cannot can't come on i already suffered i already suffered with julie dying like i can't do this anymore the fact that they could be hit with that much radiation in that short of a time and then it's like Oh, there was a radiation breach on arrows. There's like freaking kids in there. It terrifies me, guys. And it's interesting because I, <laughs> did you know I'm reading this, The Stand by Stephen King? But it's, I can't believe we keep going back to like bioweapon sicknesses. But this is like sci-fi shit. So it's very different. This is really good, though. It's very intense. Oh, my God. We're on the season finale. This is crazy. Get us into them, and I'll get us through them. I can unlock your ship. Take us with you, please. Aww. How can you say no? That's the thing about Amos. He's gonna protect the kids. He's gonna protect the sex workers. Stims, anti-nausea. We're gonna need it. It'll give us time. Oh, they're just like, we're dying, so let's go. Or great. I love that they're not freaking out right now. Oh my god. Uh, uh, I'd say we're cured then. At least we'll be sharp while we melt from the inside out. Oh. He's itching. How long you figure we got? A couple hours, maybe. He's itchy. You told your crew to take off without you? I want them to be safe. Dick. Yeah. <laughs> Look, there he is in the back. Right. <laughs> yeah, remember the can't. Heating up. Burning up, burning up for you, baby. She's really good. Do you have children? Evil scientist. Not as far as I know. If you are as fortunate as Julie Mao, she touched the unknown. And it touched her in return. Wait. She's gonna save us all. I guess they're getting her blood for vaccinations? <sighs> I'm confused. That's the kid that's still, no, that looks maybe like Holden. 
but it'd be interesting if that was the kid that got kicked out by his uncle. Oh God, I hate this. Oh no. Ugh. It's like a sunburn, but the inside out, the sun is in you. I've never shot anyone. Half the system thinks you're some kind of outlaw hero, which you're really kind of clueless, aren't you? Well, then thank God I got you here. <laughs> the cool arcade. <laughs> Your girlfriend takes off. Your girlfriend. She's not my girlfriend. She's not my girlfriend. We're just friends. Uh, Grew up in a goddamn pachinko parlor, okay? And you sure as shit don't want to die in no. <laughs> Your optimism is inspired optimism. Oh my gosh. You assholes. And earthers. Oh. <laughs> Me and Semi, when our hands were small enough, we used to reach in these machines, grab the chips that got caught in the chute. That was enough to feed a couple of street rats for a week. Oh. And naturally, you evolved into cops. <laughs> well, that was Semi's idea. He said, you want to be an ass, you want to be a boot. And which one do you know? Yeah. Um. Which one are you now? Hallucinations. <gasps> oh, shit. Sorry, kid. It's got to be his brain, like... <laughs> <laughs> protecting itself because he needs to find that hope again <laughs> he needs to self-protective hallucination there you are all right that's it let's move out wait where's the noodle oh i love this game bro you're like microwaving people and they're like i love this game I can't believe Holden hasn't shot anyone. Oh my god, I love the sound side. <laughs> oh. He just went to sleep, right? Is he asleep or dead? I think dead. Is lying. It's his backhanded way of getting retribution against her. No. What if he's telling the truth? You believe him? I believe we need a full investigation. Hell yeah. Of the fuse and drives. Christian, your investigation into the OPA smugglers was instrumental in uncovering all of this. And in fact, oh. our people have been tracking those exact fusion drives for some time now. You all right? Well, I'm sus. Yes. I'm sorry. Frank's death has been a strain. Hmm. Well then. What do you know? If that's the case. We warn Mars that they exploit this situation at their own peril. And then we expose the truth and nail Fred Johnson to it. I don't think she means it. Mm. Uh, there you are. I think I know something you don't. I know something you will never know. Jules Piramel. Hi. Good to see you again, madame. For me as well, monsieur. She's gonna fuck it all up. She's gonna fuck it up. Fuck you, dude. She's gonna expose Earth, I think. Because why would she why would she not instantly be like, oh, yeah, I think she knows he's corrupt. He's corrupt. She's not my kid. Take care of her. Oh, Amos. I fucking love Amos. She's your don't kid now. Hey, don't slow me down. Like... Corrupt. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Corrupt. Corruption. Do they really think Christian is that stupid? But that's what I love. I love when men underestimate women. I'm just like, this is being over your head, you better say so now. Shut up, I'm thinking. When they first dug these tunnels, they put markers down so the workers wouldn't get lost. The OPA uses them to mark the route to the docks. You're full of surprises. I've heard that. We're learning a little. I love how you learn a little bit at a time with these characters. Because we did know she had ties to the OPA. We did know that she knew Fred Johnson and men like Fred Johnson. But we learn a little bit, a little bit. It's so exciting. Like, we didn't know about Christian's son until many episodes in. Emergency system. Stopped. Well, everything must be okay then. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's like, would you rather have that radiation and die that way? Or would you rather have the blue crystal stuff? I'd rather have radiation. I love this set, the lights. 
are so beautiful in the colors. It's like gritty cute. Please exit the pod. Oh God. Oh no. Oh like Julie. How did that happen? No! I thought they were doing vaccines! We gotta find out who did this. Let people know. I don't feel good. What? What? Rob, but that makes me nervous because of their upbringings. Like what if with Miller, like because of his past, he can't handle it as well. And Holden might handle it better because he has so many genetics. Eight people's genetics. Not to be a negative Nancy, but. Oh my God. Oh my God. What the fuck? Zombies? They're kind of like zombies. Aww. Just dead people, I think. Did you touch something? I'm good. No, no I'm I think good. you touched something. The wet. Because that's the scientist was like, if it's wet, don't touch it. But it's not airborne. Where are you? Girls, that kid's going to die. Because do you remember how they were like analyzing Miller at the beginning? And he had all these physical limitations because of his upbringing. I need you to come back with me. No, no. I can't stay here. You have to be brave you are brave oh oh watch a hundred thousand people die it's like bugs in a dish that's why they picked arrows they don't even consider these people human mm -hmm. mars will accuse earth for using a bioweapon earth will claim it's mars mm -hmm. belt will blame the other two mm -hmm. it's a good way to start a war and to cover it up yep we got company hey <laughs> It's kind of cute that Miller is killing them all for him. He's like, let's keep you, let's keep you innocent. <laughs> I'll kill all of them. <laughs> well, because he also knows what it does. He had a whole conversation with Tavi, right? That's her name. When she killed those twins or the siblings. He's protecting him. Yeah, Holden looks way better. I got it. And there are some people who don't think privilege exists. Melita! Melita! You Stephanie. know her? What are you doing here? She was lost. We can get you off this station. This is our home. We'll be safe at the hospital. There's no safe place here. Okay. Let us take care of her. Her place is with her family. Oh, Shukri. goodness. Be brave. Come with me. You need to go. Now. Think... Please! You'll die if you... It's so sad. <clears throat> oh, maybe I'm wrong. Whoa, hey, hey. Whoa, oh, it's, it's me. Hey, motherfucker. You're going the right way to the docks, okay? I'm heading that way myself. Oh, really? I'm sorry about what happened. What exactly happened? I thought, come on, I almost got blasted getting out of that lobby, too. <laughs> He'll kill you. We've been through the shit together. Fine, kick my ass when we get out of here. Turn me in. But right now, you gotta think about your crew. Wow. You're not a killer. You are a good man. You're too Tell smart, me. you little spy. Why I'm a good man. Oh. Say something. Your life depends on it. Aww. Because you believe in mercy. You know that sometimes a man is pushed so far that he does things that he doesn't recognize. I have a family. A wife. And little kids, goldfish. And this is a death sentence. Yeah. Hold it. I don't know about Kenzo. Nice. Nice. Hell yeah. Sometimes you just gotta kick shit. This is it! Oh my god, that ladder. Kill me. Oh god. Do you realize our son would now be older than you were when we first met? He'd probably be twice as handsome. <laughs> Thanks to you. Oh. 
Frank knew those drives were stolen. He didn't commit suicide. I don't know why that didn't even occur to me. You did have Frank killed. Then you're not safe here either. Nope. I will be for a time. So long as I play a familiar role. The stubborn old woman. Eyes locked on yesterday's game. Too blind to see the world has passed her by. I love her. I love her so much. Ross is here. Yay. Where's the scruffy guy? He's gone. I think he might have been infected. We're better off. Oh. What did you do? We're better off. Right what happens when we take too much of this stuff? Possible anxiety, skin rash, sudden death. In the Celsi Deus. I should have known that from choir. I used to sing Latin all the time. Holden didn't make it. Not yet. <laughs> Passengers all tucked in below. We're not leaving yet. What? I promised Holden three hours. He still has time. He didn't make it. End of story. We're waiting. Oh, all right, all right. Look, look. We owe Holden. I don't want to have <gasps> Oh, no, you don't. No, 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 no. Amos won't stand for that. Two in me is not going to get you out of here. Yeah, seriously. Alex, you don't do it. Amos, fire up those consoles. Oh, what? Amos? You don't think I'll shoot? Oh, he does. I knew it. I knew. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. Um... You say wait, so we wait, boss. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, you could see Amos looking at him, though. He knew. I think he was on to that guy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I saw him looking at the gun in the back of his pocket before they got on the ship. Amos was looking. So I think it's like he knows those alarm bells are. They ain't never gonna let us out. We just missed them in the machine. <laughs> nice, everyone. Hey, we're just like all the mother belters back there. <laughs> bald guys are at times a blur for me. Bald guy, bald guy. Did he talk to Miller earlier? About Julie? He's the one that. I'm gonna get my revenge. Choot, choot, choot. I feel like some people are just looking for a reason to fight and be angry. Did Holden kill anyone? Come on! Slay? Quite literally, slay. The water again. What a motif. What does rain taste like? Oh. I never thought about it. How could you ever leave a place like Earth? Everything I loved was dying. Gosh, that hits hard. After COVID and climate change. It's like a heartbreak to stick around and watch it happen. Oh, God. We made it. <laughs> I was never worried. <laughs> They're kind of cute, though. I like their banter, their dynamic. She's gone. Good girl. Oh. I thought if I could find Julie. Finally know something. You did find her, Miller. Mm-hmm. Yep. <gasps> you guys are gonna be okay. Oh. You guys look like shit. <laughs> that was cute. <laughs> Definitely not Julie. <laughs> oh, Amos. So that, like the Simba guy, sorry, it was like, yeah, him. He was like, you're pretty messed up. The machine keeps trying to switch to hospice. Oh, 
Hospice. He was talking about Miller when he said we're better off. I think honestly, Amos was like alarm bells were going off his head then too. They might be infected with that crap. Holden wouldn't do that to us. Yeah. He might not know. He wouldn't do that to us. Oh. No, I was right about you. Oh. Being in charge is a shit job. You can have it. <laughs> I can't get the clamps to release. I tried every code in the book. Alex, deal with it. Oh. <laughs> I love when she yells at people. <laughs> oh. oh, gosh. Oh, are you just gonna... Oh! Go, Alex. Go, Alex. Go, 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 Alex. Free and clear. Free and clear. You got out. So, so they can recover from the radiation now, right? Because they got on the ship and like it can be cured now or at least like treated. I'm pretty sure that's what they said. Send it all to Thoth. Send it all to Thoth. Hello. <gasps> I think we just got to fix on the bad guys. <gasps> no contagion. You have blood on you. Not mine. He's so sweet. We saved a few. We should have saved more. We will. Oh. Oh my God. What the fuck? What? What? No, 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 no. I thought it was a virus. I thought it was a virus. It's alive. It's literally alive. Hmm, interesting. It's alive. It's alive. No. I'm so scared. This is so good. But I literally thought, I don't know, I knew it was sci-fi and stuff. And I was joking earlier. I was like, it's an alien. But the way he described it was the unknown. He was like, Julie touched the unknown. You know? Are they dead? No, they didn't die. Luckily, they didn't die. <laughs> so that's good. Yeah. Um, but I'm, I'm still honestly very confused about why they're doing what they're doing. Yeah. No, I, I, you think you know which way it's heading, but it always has an ace up its sleeve. Mm-hmm. I thought it was going to be some dramatic death, but no. So sad that all those people had to be murdered. Why? Is it like a sacrifice? Because that was definitely... It had more life in it. Like, it grew. So is it like a blue thing cult? It's not as simple as just a bioweapon. Because it, it, like, became more lively. It took on the essence of... Like, it mimicked the guy. It mimicked Kenzo. Intentionally infected a bunch of people with syphilis just to research... Oh, I mean, he's definitely kind of like the evil scientist trope that is just very scary to me. Like people who just really want to research and they just want the knowledge. And the way that he was describing it was very scary because he was like, like Julie helped her dad. She touched the unknown. And then what were those la those purple lasers with her body? It's a blue thing. Blue thing cult. Blue thing cult. They were like scanning her. And then the radiation seems to like help it grow. So it needs to feed. I don't like I don't even know what to guess. I can't guess. I'm just desperate to watch more. I really like Miller and Holden interacting together. And I feel like it's such a payoff. Because 
you just fall in love with both of them and they're so different they have all these different upbringings but it's a really good payoff the last two episodes and especially the last episode to watch them do the damn thing together i'm so excited for season two um and you can tell because i don't think holden killed anyone right feeding her body targeted energy to basically supercharge what she had on her why why do they mess with things they don't know it's so weird but that's that's humans you know like we messed with nuclear weapons we mess with a bunch of shit we shouldn't be messing with and i'm more in like the Ezio boat of just like i don't need to know about that i'm not supposed to know about that yeah i don't know if he did um but i do think it's sweet at least at some point that miller you could tell he was protective over him <laughs> And you remember that conversation with Miller and uh, Ta Tavi where she killed those twins and he was like, I remember my first kill. Um, and he was just like so torn up about it. And I do think Miller might find a new symbol, like a new hope in Holden. Um, just really really precious i love seeing them together i don't know what i expected if they were to like find each other but it's better than what i expected and i just love amos <sighs> i kind of i really love his loyalty to naomi and him just being like you're the boss but he's also really smart and the way that like i linked amos and christian together because they're both willing to let people underestimate them and play the role. They're aware of how they seem to other people. Like Amos seems to be an animal. He knows other people see him as like a dog on a leash. And he's smart enough to use that to have the upper hand and then trick people and like protect his people. I will say win, but it's to protect the people who need it because he was protecting the kid you know he was like take care of her um he was protecting the sex workers at that club so it's not just like self-centered like he he does have his own way of doing good and being good um it sucks he had to kill that guy but that guy was unhinged like he i think he would have shot naomi I just really like him. Obviously love Alex. I feel like Alex's character shined in other episodes and this one, especially, gosh, we got to see Naomi as well, like interacting with the little girl. And like I said before, just finding out little pieces of their, of information about their characters. And I love that. There's no exposition. <laughs> There's no like here, here is Naomi and I'm going to give you her full life story. And I'm going to tell you as the narrator of this show, like I can't stand that in TV and movies where it's just like, let me recall my memory here because I'm too lazy to incorporate it in a cool way. Um, and that's more realistic of real life. Like you get to know people in small doses and it makes it interesting i'm like you all are little mysteries that i want to crack <laughs> like i want to figure out and it's acted so well and you can tell that the they all care about their characters because i don't know it's just rare it's rare and to not have like a single bad actor um oh also dawes like i don't know what was happening with dawes and julie i still don't understand that yeah, and even, you know, Miller talking about Sem, Sem, Semi, is that his brother? I think we've only heard morsels, and I'm just, goodness. I'm really, I'm happy with that, the end of that. I feel like they did take care of us. I was worried. It started off really dark, and then it got darker, and then it got darker, but ultimately, our main peeps are alive. So I feel like we can handle it, and also... Um, someone being snarky asked where the sound effects come from in the space battles. Given that it's in a vacuum, their response, same place the music does. <laughs> Bro, you just want it silent in the space battles? You just want it completely silent? Oh, yeah, that works. I love that. I love when authors are snarky. 
no, I think the sound design and everything is awesome. I love the music. I love the aesthetic. Like, there's no aesthetic like that. It's not your super, super duper sci-fi. Like, those lights that are kind of flickering in the background out of focus. And they're like a pink and a green and a blue. It's It maintains some classic sci-fi elements, but it's also modern and gritty that's what i like it's not sleek well we saw a bit of sleek with the martians who are richer and they're like very military based but especially in especially on arrows like you don't need such an extravagant set for these sci-fi battles you don't need a lot of cgi that's what i appreciate about the show too like it's basically the same as you know, if I was walking in New York and uh, went to a little gritty town, a little gritty like street or like a little club, it feels real. It feels like this could happen in the not so distant future. And the truth is, if we invented, you know, space stations and stuff like Eros, it would not be sleek Star Trek ships and space stations. It would be that. And capitalism and wealth and inequality would be reflected so it's really cool and that's another thing that i appreciate about appreciate about holden and miller that they come from so two entirely different upbringings and you see that like i don't know if i'm reaching but it did feel like the radiation hit miller harder and that makes sense because i remember people talking about his spine juice like his bone juice like he got lower quality bone juice like living off the earth and you know the human body wants to live and grow on earth <laughs> so it makes perfect sense to me his immune system is not going to be the same as his and so they're reflecting privilege in a really cool way and that's also something i like about oblivion and i was talking caleb's ear off about it last night but that when diversity, racism, privilege, queerness, when it's all done in such a subtle way, it's so effective and it's a million times better than when they're trying to like brag about it. And as Unifex said, be like, this is a gay character and being gay is their whole thing. <laughs> There's no other traits to them. It's like, no, by the way, they're gay. By the way, Julie's pan, like that was just a teeny little, teeny little detail. He's a belter and he stayed inside the radiation room longer. And but the thing is, like in in the script, it's not saying, well, I'm a belter. So that's probably why I feel more sick and like all that exposition. They just let you connect the dots. So they're not advertising like they're not like here, watch this new show called The Expanse. We tackle the issues of queer representation, and that's why you should buy it, because there's a gay character here. It's like, no, we just like really believe in what we're doing, and we want it to reflect real life. And to reflect real life, it would be a huge fucking diverse cast of characters. It would. Also, to the person who said <laughs> that I just like Christian because of her sparkly jewels. <laughs> Um, you kind of got ripped to shreds in the replies, so I'll leave it at that. But I want to say her outfits amaze me because they're not, it's not plastic surgery. It's not very expensive looking stuff. It's cultural. It's, it's bright. It's colorful, colorful. Her costume design is more like it reflects her elegance, her poise, and the reason why I like her and the way I'm stunned when I see her is because it suits her so well. She has a sense of style that reflects her ancestry, where she's come from, her class, like her power. Um, it's not just, ooh, sparkly jewelry, because I could just watch fucking Gossip Girl for that. Like, no. And I, I don't watch Gossip Girl or whatever, Real Housewives. You know, it's like, oh, my God, here's this female character who is so sure of herself um, and she knows how to play chess. That's the best way I can put it. She knows how to play chess. She knows how to 
use how people see her in her favor. Like, I'll just be the stubborn old woman who's obsessed with yesterday's game. Like, that's some legit poker intelligence. And she could she could save the world. All of them have the potential to save the world. I love Amos. <sighs> Hi, Jay Fuentes. They do a lot of showing versus telling, and that's my favorite thing. And that's something that I hated about season eight of Game of Thrones. It was so much like, let me tell you about this. Um, I love Amos. He's slowly becoming one of my favorites because as I said before, he's like Christian in the way that he knows people see him as an animal. They know that he knows that they think he's going to stay like stubborn, one lane on a leash, dog, whatever. And he, you can see with the direction and the cinematography and the acting, he notices things, but he is able to maintain a poker face. So he like notices, you know, oh, he has a gun strapped to his back. He pulled a gun on Naomi. Like, I got to watch out for him. He was the most sus of Kenzo. And it's because he grew up, like he said, he grew up in like clubs and stuff. And I started to really like him when he was like, hey, is that guy bugging you to, you know, a sex worker in, in the club? And then with the little kid in this episode, he was like to the guy, she's yours now. Like she ha you have to take care of her. I think he's just like almost like a teddy bear, but he he protects his people. He's very loyal. And I, I like that. I do. I really like that trait in a person <gasps> no you didn't say that Wes had to argue few, for fewer lines for Amos he knew the character wouldn't speak nearly as much as the initial scripts said he's an observer in the best way wow I love that thank you for sharing that Unifex that's and you can see it in his face like he's like really watching and taking it all in and thinking constantly. He's not just like head empty at all, but people underestimate him. Gosh, it's all so good. It's all so good. Anyways, his agent wanted him to read for Holden. And he was like, nope, Amos. No, it's so perfectly cast. It's so perfectly cast. I love that. And Holden, his face is just so sweet. Like he has such... A lovely, lovely face and the way he looks at his people and especially Naomi. And I don't even know if I ship them. Like, I love their friendship, too. Already the bonds that are happening, it's not like, oh, they're so cute together as like a couple. It's deeper than that. <laughs> and it doesn't matter to me whether it's romantic love or what. Like, that's a deep fucking friendship. So I'm not even interested in the ships or the romance it's like no those are those are their people he's a good kenzo i can't wait to read the books uh the book guys thank you so much for hanging out with me and watching that this is so nice it's so nice i love having you all to talk to at the end of it i love you have a good day thank you for watching with me bye see ya